Hi, so in this video I'm going to talk about direct routing in Cubase. What is it? How can you use it? And why I don't get it? Let's go. So direct routing in Cubase, let's have a look. Now over here I have a project in which I have the live drum recordings for a new wash track that I've been using on a couple of recent videos. For example, I still have the Hertz drums virtual instrument in there with some samples layered on top of the real drums, but there's a separate video about that and I'll link it in the description because I wanted to talk about routing. Now the normal routing in Cubase, you can see that over here on the left side, for example, this ambient track is taking its input from, well, nothing really, there's no bus link there and it's routed to the ambience group, which is this one. And the ambience group is routed to the drums group, which is over here. And the drums group is then routed finally to the stereo out, which is the default main output in Cubase projects. Now you can also see that routing in the mixer view, because this is the mixer and you see that the first row here is called routing. If I click that, it expands and you basically see the same input bus and output bus here for every channel in the project. And if you don't see this routing section, you just have to enable it over here in the racks to say that you want to see the routing section. So all straightforward, and I think this is the way we've been using routing in Cubase for all these years. Well, I certainly have at least, but there's another way. Because if you go to the racks over here, you can see that there's also an option here to enable direct routing. So if I enable that, you see that there's a direct routing section below here. And if I control click, I can expand it while still keeping the normal routing section expanded. And what you basically see over here is that the direct routing is really a duplicate of the output routing in the normal routing section. However, what you also see in the direct routing section is that there's an option to route to multiple outputs. Now, currently I only have one output defined. So let's add a group channel. Let's call it drums crush, and that will go directly to stereo out. And what I can now do, I can set direct routing to the drums crushed group channel. And it's not enabled yet, but I can now choose between the drums channel either going to the stereo out directly or to the drums crushed channel and from there it's going to the stereo out. Because let's imagine for example that I wanted to really set up some heavy drum crushing on there. Let's put the Pulsar 1178 on there for example. And let's really crush those drums. Yeah, some pretty severe crushing. And what I can do with direct routing now is switch between stereo out or going through the drummed crushed group. Let's see how that works. And that's also something that you can automate, for example, to have the chorus crushed and not the verse. Now to be clear, this routing happens after the fader, because if you look at when I lower this fader, you'll see that the signal to the drum crush channel will also lower. So it's post fader and all the effects that are on this drums group are applied first and only then will it go to the drums crush group. Now that's not where it stops because it's also possible to route to two outputs at the same time. For example, over here in this menu, you can set direct routing summing mode to on. And the name is a bit misleading because nothing is really summed. Instead, it's really split. So what you're seeing now is that I can enable stereo out and drum crushed at the same time. And this allows me to have parallel drum compression added, for example. Yeah, so using direct routing in this way, it allows you to basically set up a drum bus in parallel quite quickly or set up a parallel bus for anything really. However, and this is where my question starts, I can really do the same thing with sense, right? Because looking at this parallel drum bus again, if I just disable this one, so the drums now go to the stereo out only, and then I can set up a send over here to go to the crush channel. And this one is also post fader, and I get very much the exact same effect. So this is really the part that I don't get. Why would you use direct routing 
instead of any of the other facilities that are in Cubase. For example, for this parallel drum bus, why not just use the sense? Or maybe you're thinking about using this facility for routing your groups to different physical outputs on your interface. And yes, you can of course do that with direct routing, but you could also just do it here. Because right now I only have stereo out defined, but if I had more outputs enabled, they would also be available over here. So I'm kind of wondering, what am I missing? I did search for this on the Steinberg forums as well, and I found some similar discussions, but none of them really convinced me of why we need direct routing in Cubase. Maybe it's nice to have, but tell me what for. Did you know about this already and what are you using it for instead of using sense or the regular routing? Please tell me in the comments if you have any ideas. And while we're on the subject of drums in this project, if you haven't seen my video yet about layering drums in Cubase, have a look, check it out, enjoy, and see you soon.